Hey guys, Bill Watson with Brighter Image Lab. Wanted to tell you this week, I wanted to do something kind of not, I'm not crazy about. I decided that maybe it was time for me to do a comparison review against myself and a company called Snap on Smile. This all got started over a doctor in Houston that's going on TV telling people that you can't eat with them, you can't make your own impression. Buyer beware. And guys, I think it's misleading. I don't think there's the data to support it. I definitely don't think the, support, the data that supported those claims existed before she made them. To top it off, I get to start my day with this pretty young lady, a girl named Tamara Crunchfield, I believe is her name. Actually gave me a one-star review. And I tried to call Miss Crunchfield. Of course, she didn't call me back. I looked up at my computer and Miss Crunchfield doesn't seem to be a client of mine. And it looks like she works for a company called Den Mad Holdings, which is the company that owns Snap on Smile. And after further look up, it looks like she's the regional manager for Snap on Smile in the Southwest region which is where Terry Lonnie was. Terry Lonnie's the doctor that says Snap on Smile doesn't get any complaints. When someone does a bad review, it's because they're mad. But when someone files a complaint with you at the Texas Board of Dentistry, it's because they want you to quit practicing dentistry. That's how bad people are mad at Dr. Terry Lonnie. Guys, what I'm trying to say is, when someone comes on and says they don't have any bad reviews, and then they use their energy and effort to make someone like me have bad reviews, it's time that I do a comparison. I wanted to make this a fair comparison. It's a real client. This client paid uh, over $1,000 in Arch. I didn't talk to her. She became a client online. We got the case. I had some concerns about her pictures and um, followed up a little bit on it. We went ahead and designed the smile. And then later, it was found out that she was actually a Snap on Smile client and she agreed to come up. So we did the interview. Um, I have their veneer. I could hold it up and show you, but it's just that bad. I think this one is just worse than normal. And I think that I'll do everything I can to make this a fair comparison with the possible 2% discount because I do love this company. And that's gonna, that's gonna show a little bit. But I will tell you that I had a wonderful time interviewing this lady. It went really fast. And I'm hoping that the review speaks for itself. I think ours are more contoured. I think they're more artistically designed to match the individual person. And I think they're a lot less expensive. I think the quality is every bit as good or better. In my opinion, it's the best there is in the world. The last thing I'll tell you is, is that I don't think it's right that they try to sway you into believing that their Snap-on Smiles are superior. And if you watch this video and you're thinking about buying a Snap-on Smile, get a treatment plan from Snap-on Smile. Any Snap-on Smile dentist in the country, and I will beat it by 50%. Guys, I'm not playing around. All you have to do is send it to me. I will beat that treatment plan by 50% on any snap on smile. If they tell you that they won't do it or that you're not a qualified candidate for it, send us your pictures. Let's see. I get people all the time that say, oh, you can't do it if they have protruded teeth. And then they send me the pictures on how nice they are and how much it saved them and how much better they feel about their job interviews or their, their family reunions or their self-confidence. With that, do this fair comparison. Please leave me a comment below. Watch this video. See you next week. My name is Anna, since I was little. I mean, it's I had the smaller teeth. Um, my parents weren't very big on braces or cosmetic or anything like that. Going through school and then especially through high school and through your early 20s and having something like your smile not be up to par with everybody that's around you and people in your family, that. It really changes the way that you see your future. It changes everything relationships, friends, um, career opportunities, anything like that just changes, sorry. But it's one of those things that people don't understand what a big deal it is until you meet somebody that's going through it. And even when you meet people that are going through it, I don't think people really are as sensitive to it as they need to be. Unless you're somebody that's been through it or somebody that you care about has been through it. You don't understand how how hard it is for people that go through it. So then I explored my options. Snap-on came into the picture. It was the quickest, easiest, non-invasive way that I knew of at that point. Um, and we jumped on that boat. I just got the tops done and I ended up paying around 2200 Actually, I went in twice for my impressions. And then I guess it was about five or six weeks later, I got the end result in. I never talked to anybody. It was the dental assistant came in, took impressions, dental assistant came in and gave me the end result and that was it. 
I was never, I never got a call. I never got, nobody asked me if, how the fit was, if they needed any, any corrections, anything like that. So about a year into it, I started noticing the discoloration and then the right side, a whole section of it broke off. I wanna say it was about a year and a half, two years, this side, about half an inch of the back of it broke off. I had some, I had excessive bleeding on my gum area right there from where it would constantly rub. Um, and it was just, it was, hey, we have 45 days from the date of delivery and that was it. There wasn't, there wasn't ever anything that could be done about it. There's a definitely a loss of, from the lab or from the company itself to the customer, there's something in between there that needs to be seriously worked on. I found Brighter Image Lab, um, honestly, mostly YouTube. It's one gentleman that's, he's, I think he's in the UK. He got his done, um, so his reviews were just, I love him. There was a young mom that was a big one for me where her kids were in, actually in the interview with her and Bill. The way that it's affected other people's lives, the way that people have reacted to their smile makeovers. Bill's interaction with all of y'all's clients is really one of the big impressive points for me. To see the one-on-one the -on -one interaction between everybody and the way that you guys really commit and, and take people's cases and make it not just another number, or not just another file, and it's a very personal experience. So Bill Watson, good to meet you today. Hi. How are you doing, kiddo? Thank you so much. No problem. In. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, I think we said two over here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Literally just got off a plane from New York. How was it? There are so many people. But they got the cab, are pretty sophisticated. Everything's credit card now. They have it better than Domino's. It works, <laughs> it, it, it works really good. Um, me and you've never met before. No. Um, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you making the effort to come in. Oh, thank you. Um, I wouldn't have invited you in if I didn't think I could change your life. I, I dealt with the smaller teeth my whole life and it was trying to weigh my options as to which route I was going to go. Because What were your options? Implants? Implants and then the ones where they were going to almost completely drill away the actual material of the tooth and that was just terrifying just, to just, me. Just to be clear, they say it like that. We're going to do a little minimum of invasive. Mm -hmm. They were going to grind your teeth down to stumps. Ugh. And with that, it would have never been reversible. And you've wore a snap-on for how long? Three years. Ouch. I will tell you that if this interview goes bad and, and these aren't as good, I'll understand it. I'm hoping that's not the case, <laughs> but um, we made a couple different versions for you. And, uh, and the reason being is because we're concerned. I guess you took your own impression mm -hmm. more than once, probably yeah. top and bottom. Yeah. We hope, we'll know today whether it works. <laughs> but every time we've ever had someone return us one, we do the comparison every year. We try to get further and further away from a stamp on and closer to veneers. And I'm excited about the potential of changing this person. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to do it. Now I think we just see what it does. Okay. I think the best thing for me to do is see your snap on. Okay. Come on. And that's its natural color? No, yeah. it did discolor oh, after see, about see, a year. That's mm -hmm. worn out. Boom. Then let's put this aside right there and we're going to get started. I wanted to give you every color. I didn't want you to walk in somewhere where they're too bright, but I didn't want you not to walk in because you wish your teeth were brighter. Mm -hmm. I don't want you ever to feel like your teeth don't compete with any model that's in the room. I hope that's true. So we're going to get started. And I'm going to start with the one I think you're going to like the most. Okay. If you'll look at this, I'm going to show the camera if I can. It's super glazed, it's super white, and if we compare the two, there's a big difference. Oh yeah. Even in the thicknesses, but yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. Me too. <laughs> wow, they're really thin. Tell me, only you can talk. How do they look? They look so good, they're unbelievably good. <laughs> they look amazing, but hold on, let me see. Can you smile big? Smile bigger. They look spot on. I think you're fixing to freak out. You wanna go ahead and see them with a the full smile? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, those are pretty. They're so thin. How much thinner? A lot thinner, like I can't, can't feel them. Yeah, I told you my goal was to make you feel like you've done this. Now here's what's happened. 
I need you to practice smiling. You, you're the only one that has the power to help 10,000 people. There are a million little girls that watch every little makeup commercial on uh, YouTube in the world, and nobody, nobody would give them a minute. Can I see you smile? I'm very proud of this work. I have a couple different versions, and we're going to keep looking at them. Holy cow. They're so shiny. Can you turn this way? Oh, wow. You look like you have the brightest, whitest teeth, like you were born to a cosmic dentist. Oh my goodness. And they're so thin. Do they even, how do you compare them to the snap on? I can't feel them. Are they tight? I mean, they're a good fit. They're not uncomfortably tight. Oh, so they do fit? Uh-huh. So if a dentist said, hey, those don't fit? Oh no, they fit. <laughs> Was it your first impression? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Notice how you can't tell at the gum line? Not they're at just, all. Like nobody will ever look at you from two feet away and say there's anything. Oh my gosh. If they get any closer than this, they know you too well. And I'm so yeah. close. <laughs> I'm so close that I can't tell. Wow. Yeah, I can't tell those gum lines at all. They're so white. Tell me it's worth the trip. It was worth the trip. In 30 seconds. I hope you can tell from the look on my face that I am appreciative that I get to tell a story that's a true comparison. Yeah. And I didn't make this up. I didn't come in and go, how do I beat this? Yeah. I looked at it from a picture and said anyone can beat it. I didn't know it was a snap-on. But if you just look at the two of those, for anyone to say they do better work than us, you have to decide why they're fighting so hard to let the market know. Yeah. That, you know, oh, whoa, whoa, you can't take your own impression, the material's not the same. You're gonna hate me, but I got to do this just for film. Can I have you put this one back on? Will you leave the bottom one in after we have it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's mortifying. <laughs> do you have any problem with me trading these when you're, you're that one? You're... <laughs> yeah, you can, you can have this one. <laughs> You, you don't feel like you need it for a backup? Uh oh, no, I don't think I need it for a backup. Would you ever wear it again? Probably not. Wow. Let's put it back in as soon as we can. Thank you. And then take one more toy. <laughs> oh, yeah, much better. You feel, I'll just see you just go. Like, thank God that wasn't a dream. I'm not here to slam anybody, but I do want the truth to be said. But I think you would say that snap on smile is a smile and the bill veneer is a veneer. Yeah. And I hope you believe that I didn't do anything to slam anybody. I just get tired of them telling everybody that they can't take their own impression and that the product's inferior. Well, and that's the big thing for me is that there's so many people out there that it's not feasible. I mean, in all reality, a lot of people just don't have the means to do it. Mm -hmm. And it holds you back so much to have an issue like this that it's it's hard to get to a position where you're gonna have the means to do something about it. You know it. what? The same doctor that says you can't do it is in another video that only goes to doctors. Yeah. He says, oh, you should carry this. It's a great way to upsell. Get them in for deep cleanings. That's a lot of money. Get them in for cavities. Don't let them get what they want until you, like, just upsell, upsell, upsell. Yeah. Which is, like, the reason why we don't get into the qualifying people. It's, in, it's just crazy that somebody would go, oh, that's all I wanna give her. This one's almost as wide as that one, and these are too short. Guess what? Short yeah. teeth make you look stump. I'm telling you, I knew that that smile didn't fit her face. Her teeth can't be that way. She's not this wide. She's not. It's just <laughs> all I can tell you is, is without talking down about the dentist who does these things, you've had three years to make the decision. Is yeah. there any one favorable characteristic about this veneer that is not surpassed in this veneer? Nope. I can't say what I think. I have to ask you what you think. Incompetent. They're beautiful. I, I can't believe how thin they are. They don't feel bulky at all. I've never worn anything on the bottom and I just, I don't feel like there's anything there. When I see the this, detailing in them is just beautiful. Um, and they're not just straight across. Yeah, completely there's, flat. Wow. By the time you start thinking about all the things you can do, you're gonna go, my smile's never gonna hold me back again. 
This is crazy. If you could have had the last three years with a bill veneer instead of a snap-on, what do you think would have changed? <laughs> it made a difference in five seconds. Like, I can tell you want to be happy now. Like, you can't wait to get out of here to see. <laughs> you, you want to tell these, you want to show the world that I've just me, not, not a girl that, that has space, space teeth. Yeah. I had a bunch of things I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> but the answers are so clear that all I'm really doing is beating up the video. And there's not anything else for us to say. The work's just perfect. It's awesome. Can you look I at can't. it again? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a testament that you drove all those miles. And it, when you get time and we're not on camera, thank your husband for coming all the way. <laughs> Um, I hope in your heart of hearts that you feel like it was a good investment for you. Oh yeah. And I know that if they called you and said, I get the feeling the doctor, if the doctor called you and said, hey, we're in Houston, can we make you one to compare? You go, it's not worth my time. No, I'm good. I don't think you can beat it. Mm -mm. We're gonna wrap it up. Okay. We gotta shake hands. We're gonna take one picture of ourselves because I always get them if you don't mind. <laughs> of course. I, it just, they're just, they just look so much more real. Just a different, the different shapes and I'm not gummy I mean I can smile and I, it was all gums I think they look amazing your teeth are beautiful I so never excited. imagined them with you the bottoms are there as well uh -uh. They match up very nice well even with the even with the thought of getting veneers over my natural teeth I never imagined the gums I've always hated how gummy my smile was I can't imagine with the, how much better these look with the quality of these, that, that, how much that's going to improve and her, her self-esteem is going to go even higher. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's, gonna, it's an amazing improvement. Yeah, no, they look amazing. I have like a normal smile now. If you made it this far, it's because you probably liked the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Help us grow this channel. Our subscribers mean the world to us. I think you'll like what's coming this year. Amazing smile makeovers for people all over the world. Thank you for watching the video and hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later.